this workshop. Hello, you can have your camera on. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you all. People I know, people I don't know. Welcome, welcome. And just to introduce myself, my name is Cinzia. Okay, I am a coach, healing coach, yoga teacher, and I've been working with energy, with body and with coaching and mental and mind, spirit, everything. Okay, so I'm here for you. I'm here to help you today. I hope you can get to take something from this workshop that you can use on your daily life. Okay, this is the purpose of this, to get some tools for you to use. So I want you to experience in here and then you can take it at home with you. Okay, and I invite you, I want you to introduce Yvonne, who is going to be Helping me, if you have any issue with the technology or something, you can write to her, Yvonne, and she will help you, you know, addressing and ho hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, sorting everything out. Okay, so let's start. I want to ask you, and I'm inviting you now, and now at the moment you are mute and you're not allowed to unmute yourself. But at the end, we're going to go into a little, you know, question and answer a question so you can ask something and we can have a little conversation at the end. OK, if you have any question, keep them for the end. Yes. Good. Well done. So I invite you now. Hello, 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 Kitty. I invite you to I'm going here to ask you because this is for you guys. OK, this is for you. I'm here for you. I'm here to help you. OK, so I want to ask you. Where do you feel stress in your body? Where, how stress shows up in your life? And I invite you to write something so I can tune in with the issues, with the real issue that you have. I invite you to know where do you feel stress in your body? How does show up stress for you? And if you want, you can write it down in the chat. It's something you have in your body, something you feel. How is showing up stress for you? Okay, just. Have a little moment neck and shoulder patricia yes neck and shoulders sometimes chest yes what about the head is headache stress in the forehead and shoulders okay very nice very good yeah renee and flavia very good a chest and headache yes neck and back absolutely thank you very much very common okay so today we want to release some tension on your body as well as stress builds up in the body but to be honest, stress starts in the mind. Did you know that? Stress starts in the mind. Everything comes from the mind on a subtle level, and then it becomes stress tension on the physical level. And I'll tell you why this is, why the reason for that. Imagine, imagine there is someone who has a phobia of a rat in, in, in the room. A rat phobia, snake phobia, something like that. If I tell this person that there is a rat in the room or a snake in the room, what do you think this person does? How does she respond? What do you think? Give me some answer if you want. Absolutely. you got a panic feeling effect, right? Panic shows up as fear. Absolutely. Emotions of fear. Panic in the body, heart palpitation. Absolutely, well done. So you got all that muscle tension, short breath. You know, you're breathing on your chest. You're holding your breath, shaking your body, panic attack, hands sweating, okay? Pupil dilates, blood pressure. Just in one second, just one thought of a rat. Didn't even need to see the rat, just one thought created that cascade of effect in her body, in the body. So how powerful is our brain? In one second, produce a straightaway immediate cascade of hormones, cortisol, uh, you know, adrenaline, stress response hormones, okay? What happens is these hormones are affecting our physical health. In the past, these hormones were very useful, especially when there was a tiger or a lion in the forest and we had to run away, right? We had to have muscle strong, heartbeat, we need to pump blood to run away or to fight, you know, the fight or flight response. Yeah. 
after they ran, maybe the people ran, they felt safe. And then there was the activation of the rest of the just nervous system response, which is like, okay, the system is, it's okay. You're safe. There is no more danger. The lion is there. I'm here. I'm safe. I can now relax. Okay. But the thing is that nowadays we just have these things that these hormones and cortisol are produced and it stays in the body and it causes lack of sleep. We don't, we find difficult to sleep. These hormones stays in our body, maybe on a lower range, but it becomes chronic. It's not a high peak when there is a lion and we need to fight or run, but it stays in our body constantly. And this is inflaming our system, our physical body, creating diseases at, in the long term, okay? So what we want to do, we want to use our body to release. Did you know what dogs do when they, they see a, a, you know, another bigger dog and they feel scared? What happens to the dog? Who has a dog? Who knows that? Write me on the chat if you know what happens to a dog when, <laughs> when he feels he sees a bigger dog and uh, feels scared. After it's gone, what happens? After the, 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 the fear is gone, what happened to the dog? Who knows? Yes. Who is Pav? Yes. Shakes off. Shakes off the pent up energy that has been built up in its body because it got tensed by the fear of that animal. Okay. We want to do the same, but no one taught us that. But we need to release. We need to shake off. We need to move the body. Okay. So we're going to do that as well. So let's start. I'm very happy you're here. Let's start by thinking, bringing the mindfulness now. I don't know if you're familiar with what is mindfulness, but mindfulness is, about, is all about being present in the now moment. Because the mind worries about the future, think about the past. It's always pulling you somewhere. It is never into the now moment, okay? So we want to bring the mind into a nice relaxed break, into a nice holiday, okay? We want to relax the mind because everything starts, as we said before with the wrap, everything starts in our mind. Stress is because we are thinking of something, okay? That worries us for some reason. We want to bring ourselves, our mind somewhere else. And when I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you, I want you to feel that. And I want you to feel as well how difficult it is for you to bring your mind somewhere else. Because your mind job is to think and keep you busy. Chatty, chatty, chatty. So I want you to experience that now. Are you ready with me? Yeah? Very good. So let's start sitting. Let's start Thank taking you. a moment to shake your hands. I, I'm a shaking up girl for those who knows me. <laughs> I want you to shake your arms, shake your arms all the way up. <laughs> and I want you also to tap your feet on the floor. Okay. Are you ready to get rid of something like dogs? Come on, let's go. Have a little shake, tap your feet on the floor, <laughs> move your arms down. All right. Let's do one more round. Up, up, up. Shake it off. You move your shoulders. Very good. And now I'm going to do this. You're going to take a deep breath in, tense your hands. Breathing in, lift the shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze your face. I don't want to see beautiful people here. Very good. Take a deep breath in, hold it, hold it, squeeze your legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're going to drop and open the mouth and drop your arms. Drop. <sighs> Completely drop. And it's not like this. It's like a dog, you know, like a doll, a doll, a doll. You just hold it and then you <sighs> drop completely. Okay. Two more times and tell me how you feel after. Let's go. Shake it off for a moment. Tap your feet. Let's go. Breathing in. Tense your body. You're going to take a deep breath in. Come on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift the shoulder. Squeeze that tension on your shoulder. Tighten your legs. Squeeze your buttocks. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Deep breath in. Sigh out and drop. Open the mouth. Open the mouth. Drop the jaw. Let go of this tension. Release. Okay, tap your jaw. If you don't open the jaw and you do this, because I've seen that, you know, then you're not, you're not open the jaw. Just have a little tap here to release. And then we do one more time. Okay. Open the jaw. 
Good. Release tension on the jaw. Well done. All right. Well done. Let's do one more time. Are you ready? Shake it off. It's about releasing, guys. It's about releasing, letting go. <laughs> Woohoo! Feel free to feel a little bit loose on your shoulders. Go there in your shoulders. Come on. What about your shoulders? Now take a deep breath in. And I mean it, deep breath in, squeeze tight, tight, tight. So you, your muscles know what is, your body knows what is tension. Hold it, hold it, this is tension. Drop, this is relaxation. One more time, inhale, and sigh out. Very good, now put one hand in your chest, one hand in your belly, close your eyes, and sit in the middle of the chair. I invite you to keep your spine nice and tall with your feet on the floor. Hopefully have your socks so you not have your, your shoes on. If you have your shoes on, maybe invite yourself to remove them and take a moment to close your eyes. And you know that we said we want to bring our mind into a little break, into a little holiday break. And I invite you now to focus all your attention, all your attention. I want to invite you to focus to what you hear around you. Just take a moment to notice, become a detective and curious to hear the sounds in the room. Near of you, and outside of the room. Even in distance, far away on your left, on your right, on the back, on the front. I hear the sound of, of the fan of my computer, hope you don't. <laughs> and now bring your awareness to your breath. Imagine and feel the air coming into your nostril right here, right now. And I invite you to notice, again, you become the observer of your breath. Mindfulness is about being present in the moment. And the mind is going to, 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 to try to pull you away from this moment. And you gently observe it and bring it back to the breath. Like you're taking a child who wants to maybe run somewhere else and you are a kind mom and you're, or a kind dad, very gentle and kind and compassionate, and you're holding his hand and you're taking him where you want him to go or her to go. Where you want is down there in your belly, right there in your body. So your mind can relax now. So your mind can be safe in your body now. Well done. And as you become deeper and deeper, as you relax deeper and deeper, I invite you to observe where you are breathing in your body. So as the air comes into your nostril, where does it go? In which part of your body it moves? Does it move in your belly? What part of your body moves? That maybe your chest, maybe both. Notice and be aware. Become curious to observe your breath. One more time. Very nice and slowly, slowly, I invite you to gently 
open your eyes and make a nice stretch, raise your arms, D deep breath in, stretch your arms all the way up. Take a deep breath in, I invite you to start stretching your body and I invite you to open and, and close your hands. Open and close your hands because I want you to activate your fingers. And I'm gonna stretch all palms down, bring your arms all the way down, okay? And we're gonna go into a side stretch. But first of all, I want to ask you one thing. Please tell me, where do you think you were breathing? Where you're breathing mostly on here or where you're breathing on the belly or you were breathing on both? Well done, Surya. Rene, belly, wow, well done. Belly, 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 good, Rene. What, who has the chest? Belly and chest, Kitty, okay, good. Chest and belly, both. Okay, very good, I love that. Well done, guys, you're, you're amazing. I want to tell you this, when you breathe on your chest, you're activating the sympathetic fight or flight response. Shallow breath, you can't breathe, you know? When you breathe on the belly, inhale, expand the belly like this. Inhale, expand the belly, exhale, pull the belly in. Do it yourself a couple of times. Inhale, expand the belly, relax the belly, exhale, pull the belly in, exhale fully. Inhale, relax, expand like a balloon. Exhale, relax, pull in, okay? When you take this breath down in the belly, what happens is that there is the vagus nerve that from the belly goes into your brain and you know what happens? Activate this rest and digest, which is the, 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 the nervous system activation that is counteract the stress response. So it's a very good thing when you breathe in your belly, as you take your mind right here down in your belly and you take nice gentle breath in and out, expanding and exhaling, pulling in, okay? Okay, so this is so good. And we're gonna expand now our recapacity capacity because we want to breathe deeply. So hold one hand on the chair. On the chair. We're gonna release some physical tension now. You're gonna stretch your arms to the side. And I invite you to open and close because I want you to really activate your fingers. You don't want to go up with your arms relaxed. You want to go up with your hands like this, okay? Very stretched. So you feel the nerves, you feel the, the stretch on all your body, okay? So once you're ready, stretch your arms to the side. We're gonna inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And I want you now to do another effort. I want you to imagine you want to reach the ceiling. You need to touch the ceiling. You take a deep breath in, stretch your side of your body. And when you exhale, you go lean to one side, keep the stretch towards the ceiling and you tilt your head to the side. Looking at the ceiling, I want you to take three deep breaths in here, okay? Are you ready? Breathing in one more, two, three breaths. Inhale, expand your chest and expand the rib cage and exhale, still really pressing and stretching your hands. One, two more, inhale, deep stretch. Expand the rib cage, exhale, side, feel the stretch in your body, press your hips down. You're not lifting the hips up, okay? Not cheating. One more time, inhale, deep breath. Expand that rib cage, exhale, sink down a little bit more. Very good. Are you ready? Now you're gonna palms down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep the stretch, keep the stretch, keep the stretch, all the way down, release. Tap your feet, tap your, relax your shoulders. And I invite you now to put your hands here and tell me and check if there is any difference between the left and the right. Is there any difference? Yes? Good. What feels? Right arm feels much lighter. Very good, Surya's. Absolutely. Let's go to the other side now. Lift your arms up. Again, activate your hands. Go, go, go. Up, up, up. Stretch your arms up all the way. Breathing in. Exhale to the side. Lift the head. Take three deep breaths, expand your chest. Come on, take three deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, deep breath. Keep the stretch on your hands. You want to really open your chest. You really want to breathe deeply. More breath in means more oxygen and more toxins out. Come on, take another deep breath. It's good for your body. 
Good. Oxygen is the nourishment of the cell. Are you ready? Go, go, go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All the way down. Very good. And release. Very good. Shake it off. Okay. Now, let's everybody stand it up. We're going to do what is called the breath of fire. Okay. Breath of fire, which is, I'm going to help you release this breath is good to release whatever you have can be stress, anxiety. What do you have, guys? Do you have any stress here or not? <laughs> yeah, whatever you have, emotional stress, mental stress, physical stress, let's take it out from our system. It's your intention to let it go. All right? Let it go is the key. Release. Let it go. Empty yourself. Okay? With that intention, we're going to use this breath. And it looks like this. It's a three-part breathing. It's like this, inhale, 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 divided by three, through your nose, okay? And when you exhale, you blow your air out and you want to empty your belly, you want to empty the exchange and ex exhale fully from your belly, okay? And you're gonna use your arms in combination with that. So when you inhale like this, you put your arms in the front, inhale, Inhale to the side. So you open the sides of your body. You open your chest. Inhale, lift your arms all the way up. And when you exhale, you basically, you just bounce down and just swing your arms and then you come up again. Okay? So everybody standing up. Inhale, 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 out. Inhale, 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 out. Okay? You're going to do five times or set, no, maybe 10 times. And I want you to see how you feel after that. Take the most of it, use it to release whatever is not, doesn't serve you anymore. Use it for yourself. See how it feels after for you, not for everyone, for anyone else. It's called breath of joy. Oxygen in, toxins out. Even mental, emotional toxins, okay? So bend the knees, keep the knees bent so the energies can flow freely in your body. Keeping the knees bent, let's begin. Inhale, keeping your mouth closed. Let's go. In. In. All the tension on the shoulder. Come on, go, go, go. In. Let it go. Good. In. All the negativity. In. All the stress. Out. Blowing up, good, three more, come on, do it your best. Inhale, 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 one more. And sit down, just stay there, keep your head down. And I invite you now to just relax your head down and keep yourself down, hanging down. This is so good. Do nothing to do, just bend, forward bend yourself. It's a forward bend. You keep your legs stretched if you like, so you have a nice stretch on the back of your legs. Or you just let yourself hanging down. You can bend the knees if you feel like it's too much for you. And you can rock from side to side. Make sure your head is not, your neck is not holding any tension. So say yes and no with your head. Allow yourself to completely abandon you. Let it go, not abandon you in the center of your body, but just really release. Allow yourself to let go. And feel the stretch done by the gravity force. Okay? And let's do something for your shoulder now. Let's bend the knees, interlace your hands behind. We're going to lift your arms all the way away from your back. This is so good for your shoulders, for your shoulder blades that tension you say you have when you feel stressed, okay? So just stay here for a couple of breaths. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Stay connected. Relax the neck. Lift your arms away from your spine. And when your mind starts trigger, pulls you somewhere else, when your thought comes in, disturbing and distracting you, this is normal. And you just observe and bring yourself back to where you are, your body, your breath, your upper back, 
the shoulders. Nice, slowly release your arms down, bend the knees, coming up one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly. Keep your head down, you take a nice deep breath in, roll, slowly roll your shoulder back, open your body, stretch your arms up. Take a nice deep breath in, stretch your arms in prayer position, lift your arms up, and exhaling, bring your hands all the way down. Very good. Well done. And I invite you now for a moment to close your eyes, put again one hand on your belly, one hand in your, on your chest. Soften the knees. Keeping your eyes closed for a moment, feel the feet on the floor. And I invite you for a moment to come back to the belly, to your breath. And maybe you can start gently noticing that the more you connect with your breath and your belly, something happens in your body. Use your intention, use your intention to relax. Your shoulders maybe relax a little bit, a little bit. Just start softening as well your jaw. Just notice your jaw if there is any tension, let it go. And allow your mind to drop again down there in your body, in the belly, at the core of your center, the center of your energy, right there, deep down. And using mindfulness techniques is about expanding the space which lies between one thought and the next one. It's about training your mind to drop, to go on holiday for a moment, to recharge. You're like, what you're doing here is something like cleaning, clearing the cache, caches of your computer so your computer can after be faster. You're cleaning what, the, what is all the things that you don't need, the worries that doesn't create any good to you. You really start understanding that the more you get worried, the more you get into the loop of the thoughts, you become that victim. You want to start taking your power back. Your power back right here, right now. The mind's job is to get worried and busy. They are like horses. They are horses in a chariot, but who is the one leading them? One horse wants to go to the right, one other horse wants to go to the left. But you want to be the one on top of them, guiding them where you want to go. You want to take your power back. And the way to do so is to be present, to become the observer of your mind, of your thoughts. To observe them, observe them without attachment, without attachment, with compassion and detachment. Like you're watching the clouds passing by in the sky, you just watch them. Let them by. And you go back down to your stillness within yourself, within your body, right here, right now. That stillness ever present within yourself. You want to be the driver of your car. Bring your mind on holiday, give it a break. Let it be safe in the body. Now slowly open your eyes, stretch your arms up, take a deep breath in. And now I want you to take a moment to just exhale. Allow yourself to exhale through your mouth. And if you feel like it's not, it's not something we are used to do, but it's very good to exhale through your mouth to release. 
And if you feel to move more, feel free to move more. If you feel to stretch, allow your body to do what it feels good now. If you need to move and if you need to relax, if you need to move your body, move your shoulders, release that tension. I also like to jump on my, the, the people, my, my students in yoga, they know that I am the shaking up girl. And I always like to shake. So I think it's a good time to shake girls and guys. So let's go have a little shake, have a little crazy, crazy freestyle. And I invite you to let your body guide you, okay? Wherever you want to go, release tension on your joints, on your hips, on your arms, on your shoulders, on your neck. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Allow yourself to do so. All right, take a deep breath in, cleanse your body. Squeeze and sigh out. One more. We're going to stretch your back. Walk back. Let's go. Nice stretch on your spine. Really go into that nice stretch. So just walk back. This is called a sort of a downward dog down on the chair. And I invite you to take a really good stretch on your spine. Okay, so just take nice three deep breaths. You can even exhale, open in the mouth and release. Okay, we're gonna do this. Inhale, squeeze your face. Taking a deep breath in, squeeze your face as we did at the beginning. And when you open the mouth, drop your chest down. Two more times, inhale, deep breath. Deep breath means deep breath. Like you're diving, you need to get all the breath. Squeeze and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, let it go. One more time, deep breath. Hold it and release. Just take a moment to enjoy the stretch in your spine, in your legs. Gently bring your breath to regular breath on your nose. In and out. And now slowly round your back and step and walk towards the chair and gently find your way sitting down again. Very good. Drink some water. Take a moment to take a moment to drink. Sip some water. Very good. And now I invite you. How do you feel now, guys? How do you feel in your body? How do you feel? In your mind, feel dizzy or you okay? Okay, feel better. Feel a little, okay, very good. Much more present. I like that. <laughs> Lovely, Kitty. Feeling great. Very good. Okay, we want to release that tension. All right, so tension relief in body and mind feels lighter. Mm, interesting. Very good. Very good. Okay, so I invite you now, let's do a little tapping now. Who knows how, maybe you don't know what is tapping. I'm gonna share with you something, okay? Tapping, so what we have just done now, to the, the, up to now, what we have done is, I invite you to understand that stress starts in the mind and I invite you to really connect and bring your mind somewhere else in your body and anchor your mind in your belly. This is a very important technique. And you can do even 10 seconds. You are working, you're busy. Maybe you you have a, a little, um, you have to think about that anyway. But if you felt the benefits of this short breath in the belly, that you felt a little bit more connected and be more present and clearing that, that baggage that, the thing that is in the mind, your intuition will, will give you a little thought while you work, maybe it will say, oh, I need a little break. If you have the little intuition, the little thought coming in, follow it and just take a, take a moment. You just have to do simple things. You just have to put your hands in your belly. And as we do it now, and you can just close your eyes, sit in the middle of the chair, and we're going to do this. We're going to count one on one, two, three, four on the inhalation, 
and then on one, two, three, four on the exhalation, okay? So simple things, you don't have to do many big things, but just simple things to come back, reset yourself, reset your mind, and then you can carry on working and doing what you think. So let's do that for nice three, four breaths, one, all together, you put your hands in your belly with your spine as and tall, your feet on the floor, you close your eyes, allow your, your spine to be nice and aligned, your feet nice on the floor, feel your feet on the floor. And I invite you now for a moment to take a few balanced breaths in your belly. Is your intention to drop and relax in your body? As you inhale, your belly becomes a little bit bigger like a balloon and you count, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. And when you exhale, maybe you pull a little bit gently the abdomen in. And again, inhale, relax the belly, puffing it out like a balloon. And exhale, draw the belly in. Just take three breaths on your own feeling on yourself and counting on yourself now. And notice how difficult and how quickly your mind wants to pull you away from this exercise. How frustrating is maybe your body feeling? Maybe you feel any pain in your body distracting you. Or maybe it's just a mind that it's so busy that it wants to pull you away from this simple exercise of counting your breath in your bed. Just notice it. It's about practicing this. And I invite you now to lift the corners of your mouth towards the, towards the upwards. I invite you to lift the corners of your mouth upwards. So gently lift your corners of your mouth towards the ceiling, towards your eyes. And carry on breathing, nice and gentle, balanced breath in your belly. And tell me, or not tell me, but just tell yourself, notice how whatever happens, whatever change you feel in your body, in your emotions, in your energy levels, what happens when you gently smile. Are you able to be sad when you have your corners lifted? Try your best to be sad if you can. And just enjoy, release the trying now and just enjoy a little nice breath with your mind, with the corners lifted, in a gentle smile. How just simply changing some muscles in our face, send a message to the brain to produce serotonin, endorphin, chemicals, hormones that are good, feeling good chemicals. Releasing in your bloodstream simply by just moving your corners of the mouth towards your eyes. This is how powerful you are and we are. And now slowly raise your arms up. And I invite you to even give a nicer smile to your face and see what happens when you give a little bigger smile and you raise your arms up. What happens if you even allow yourself to tap your feet and raise your arm up? How do you feel in your body? When you raise your arms up, it's a victory sign and your brain thinks you are happy, simple as that. 
and produces good chemicals. So I guess we should stay a little bit longer with your arms up, even if they think we are crazy, but we like crazy people, right? Breathing in, give yourself a big stretch and let it go. Shh. Let it go, guys. This is the secret. Let it go on your shoulders right there. Very good. Right there. Let it go. Okay. Tension relieved in body and mind. Physical. Okay. So I invite you now. Let's go with your tapping. Okay. Tapping is a very powerful technique. It's a energy psychology. Okay. Energy psychology. What is that? It's basically combining East and West. It's combining meridian points, Chinese medicine. It's a protocol. We are going to tap in some parts of the body, particular points in the body, as we tune in with the issue we have, emotional issue, physical issue, mental issue, spiritual issue. We, by tuning into what distress and create a sort of fight or flight response in our body, a sort of shock response, a sort of things that is not comfortable in, in us, okay? By tuning into that and talking, you know, through that, along that, while tapping on this particular point that I'm going to show you, this combination of things, what happens is that you are tapping on the ending points of the energy meridians and it's linked with the organs in your body. This is the stomach, this is the liver. And you are basically bringing your nervous system back to balance. You are resetting and calming your nervous system where linked to that phobia or with that thought created tension and fight or flight response and trigger that you know, the tension response, but by tapping and tuning in, you are sort of, sort of telling your nervous system, it's okay, that thing is not danger, you can relax, it's safe, you are safe, yeah? So we can work with phobias, we can work with so many other things, this is very powerful, I don't know, but people who are here with me that have, it, you know, amazing, I know it worked with you, I know, thank you so much for sharing that, this, these things is simple, but as Simple things can work, right? Maybe the simplest things can, can be <laughs> very, very, we don't have to make life very complicated. Okay, so this is, this is, the, these are the point. This is called karate point, soft beat on your hands with a few fingers, you just tap, gently tap on this point. Okay, this is the first point. Okay, then we're gonna go for the two fingers. You choose your side, you choose your, you choose your hands, doesn't matter. This is the eyebrow. This is basically the beginning of your eyebrow and you're gonna start tapping on this, okay? The eyebrow, it's called eyebrow point. And then you're gonna go to the side of your eyes. And then you're gonna go under your eyes. Very simple, under the nose, on your chin, on your chest. Use two hands, two or full fingers on your chest. Under here, under your breast with your fingers. Very nice. And under your arm, basically this is my armpit. This is the bra side, the bra point under your arm. And top of your head is the last one, okay? Take a moment, check it off, breathing in. Squeeze, come on, squeeze, and let it go. Good, let's start. I invite you to tune in with your issue. Of course here, you know, we can we can just do at up to a certain point because we are not tuning in with the with the particularity and the details of every. We have to be generic. But still generic can release something, okay? So, I invite you to tune in with what is bothering you a little bit. And we want just to allow ourselves to be present with what bothers us without rejection, without pushing out, putting under the carpet. I don't want to feel that it's not comfortable. I don't want to see that. I don't like it. No, no, no. Here we are the opposite here. We are here to embrace what is in there because just by only accepting with compassion what is in there and holding it, allowing it to be, 
allowing it to feel what we need to feel, we have to feel it in the body. We can't, you know, try to, to escape that. Everything needs energy. Emotions are energy emotions. They have to be felt. They have to be moved through us. Otherwise they get stuck somewhere. And the purpose and the, the EFT is really called emotional freedom technique and says that the principle is that anything, every negative things that we have, it's, it's um, a disruption on the energy system. Anything negative, physical, emotional, and mental that we have, distress, is a disruption on the energy system. And by doing that, we want to bring the, the energy system back to flow. So things are not blocked. We want to bring that flow into the energy system, okay? In the organs, in everything. So let's start doing that. Tuning in with your distress, that the things that distress you for a moment and give it a, a, a score from zero to 10, how strongly that thing dis disturbs you. Zero to 10, tune in with that thing as you start tapping on the karate chop. And just take a moment to tune in with that, maybe take a deep breath in, sigh out, give it a number in your mind with that thing that disturbs you. Maybe give it a title. Is a relationship problem you have? It's a work worry you have? Is something with yourself maybe? Something that bothers you? Is a negative thought that you have with yourself? You're critical and judgmental with yourself? Feel unworthy? Or you're angry with other people? You're angry with something? What's going on? Even though, and repeat after me, even though I've got this thing going on in myself. And it's a, a number. I don't know what is the number for you, but just that's the amount. It's an eight, it's a seven, it's a five. I choose to love or love, honor, and accept myself unconditionally. Just take a moment, breathe in and out. Sigh out. Even though I've got these things going on in my life, and if it hurts, I don't feel good. For some reason, I feel disturbed. But I choose to honor the way I feel. I honor the way I feel, and I accept the way I feel now, right here, right now. Even though I've got this thing going on, this disturbance, this distress in my life that's bothering me, I feel it in my body. And just take a moment to notice, where do you feel this distress in your body? How is showing up this distress in your body? Do you have sleep problems? IBS? What, how does show up in your body? Where do you feel it right here, right now, this problem? Do you feel a tension in your, in your, in your, in your belly, oh, the, in your shoulders, in your head, as you take a moment, breathe in and out? Even though I've got these things going on, again, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself and the way I feel now, okay? And let's start tapping and just tune in with that distress. I feel this distress. Side of your eyes, I feel it now. And just tune in. Under your eyes. This feeling. The more you're able to tune in with that, the easier and better and you know, efficient it is this work. Under your nose. I feel this. On your chin. My body can't lie. My body knows that I've got this issue. On my chest. I don't want to see that. It's not comfortable. I don't like it. I don't like to feel the way I feel. Breathe in and out. Allow yourself to breathe out. Allow yourself to release. Allow yourself to open your mouth and let it go. One more time, take a deep breath in. It's about releasing, about allowing yourself 
my body can't lie under here, under your arm. These emotions link to this stress I have in my life. This stress. This stress. Eyebrow. Side of your eyes, this stress. Under your eyes. Breathing and out. And check how do you feel under your nose. What is the feeling linked to this thought that you have, this distress? What emotions comes up for you? It's sad, it's anger, what is that? Tap on your chin, all these emotions. On your chest, linked to this distress I have. I'm here to see it. I want to be authentic. I'm here to see the truth. Breathe in and out. Sigh out. I don't want to hide anymore. Under your breast. I want to take control of my life. I want to take control top of your head of my emotions. I'm taking my responsibility, highbrow. I'm taking my responsibility of my own well being right here, right now. I choose to take my responsibility for my anger, my emotions, what I feel within myself. It's me, it's something, it's something I want to take my responsibility. Under your eyes, I want to take my power back. I choose under your nose, I choose to take my power back. On your chin, it feels good to take my power back, breathing and out. Sigh out. And it starts from me. Choosing peace within myself. Choosing to look at what is not comfortable within myself under your breast. And to bring some light, love, and compassion to that. Top of your head, in body, mind, and spirit. Breathe in. Sigh out. Shake it off. Tap your feet. Shake it off. Yeah, it's about releasing, guys. It's about letting go. It's about releasing and then come back to a peaceful place within yourself that you can always reach because it's within yourself. It's not outside of you, okay? It's within you. It's in you, okay? It's inside of you, that peace, that center, breathing in, tense your body. Saya, release. I choose peace. I choose peace. Okay, well done. All right, well done, everybody. I want you now to raise your arms, just have a little, yay. <laughs> Very good. And I invite you now to drink some water. Yeah. And of course, these works with EFT is something that if done but one by one, we really go into that, you know, the issues and we go deeper into that. And it's, it's a very beautiful, gentle technique because we are working with your unconscious mind. What your unconscious mind is willing to offer is going to offer to us when you're, you know, or to you when you are in, a, when, when you're doing this. When I wanted to, to give you this, this technique, when you do that, which is very simple, I can send you the, you know, the, the, the protocol, it's really simple. But if you feel, for instance, something gone wrong, you had a, a, an argument, 
or your children, your child got annoyed you or something, frustration, work relation, whatever, whatever you have, instead of keeping everything here and starting going into the zoos, you know, all the, the worrying thoughts that always stays here, I invite you to <laughs> be in a quiet room where no one sees you. <laughs> of course, I want you to do, I invite you to do this because it's really good to release a little bit of that pent up tension in the body. But then I really invite you to, to, to tap and just talk loud and instead of keeping everything here that is, is creating so confusion, you know, it's like a traffic jam, such a mess. You go into a vortex, you can't, you, all negative thinking going on, you know, you, you can't get out. I invite you to do that and, and carry on talking the way you would talk. But start is with, I accept the way I feel. Because acceptance, it's an amazing, powerful tool. Opens up, opens up. Thank you, Suraj. Opens up the doors to really embracing what is there. It's the presence of holding that the emotions that you have, that frustration that you have, that enables you to soften. It's like a cloud that disappears because you, the more you, the closer you go, the, 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 the more it's like, oh, actually, it doesn't exist. You have to, instead of rejecting it and going far away the other direction, let's let's take the time to say, okay, I feel that. I feel that. It's okay. I'm a human being. I love myself. I, I, I accept the way I feel. I accept that I feel this anger. It's okay to, you know, whatever. I, I do that. It's, 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 it's okay to feel the way I feel now. Yeah? You need to tap. Flavia, as long, how long minimum you need to, to tap, okay? Tapping is, is you are tuning in with your intuition, with your unconscious mind, with your inner power. By doing that, you are talking through in a, and you are relaxing that tension that you are holding related to that issue that you have in that moment. And by relaxing that nervous, nervous system activation, you are softening the edges of the issue. You are, you know, dismantling. And then something more positive in your mind comes in. For some reason, when you do this, you start with anger and then maybe you come up with feeling something else. Oh, I don't feel angry anymore. I feel something else. So you are going into a shift of emotions, raising your vibration higher. So if you feel that vibrational level of anger or something when you start because you got that problem, okay? Come on, that problem is not easy. But by doing that, you are raising your vibration by little by little. And for some reason, you're gonna you're going to feel lighter at the end because you're going to escalate your higher, higher, you know, lifting up your vibration little by little. So from set from anger, maybe you become sad. From sad, it becomes accept and compassion. From compassion, it becomes actually. Okay, I relax, I'm calm, you know? And from hunger, you came to a place of, of, of understanding, of clarity, of peacefulness. Come on, who doesn't want that? Just by doing that, and you will know when to finish. You will know your intuition, your, your inner guidance. I'm here to take your power back. I'm here to invite you to take your power back. Okay? Yes, Yvonne, thank you so much. Uh, is nearly the time finishing and I invite you now if you have any questions I'm going to send you an email after you know with the for all who have registered maybe with the uh, you know if you want you can do some sessions with me with me if you want a one-to-one -one. so if you have an issue that you feel like oh I need to work something on that I can help you but if you have any questions first of all I want to ask you what are your takeaways if you need to go please feel free okay what are your takeaways from to, for today from today what are your things that comes up now one two three whatever that you can take from today the the more you're doing you're able to respond now the better it is because your your mind is going to uh keep them you know a little bit in your in your awareness what are the things that is like, okay, uh, I, I, I take this from today. If you want to share, thank you. Thank you, Yvonne, for writing that. Very kind. Shaking out and tapping. Yes, uh, Flavia. Suryash, okay. Instead of thinking my thoughts in the head, I would just 
verbalize them while tapping. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of having everything here cluttered, just tap it, took it out and do that and see how you shift your energy. Absolutely, well done. This, the same principle, when you are in stress, this is the point. You can just stay in stress and bounce your head in stress, thinking that you will find a solution. If that was the case, most of us would have solutions just by worrying, 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 okay? The, the opposite is true. By walking outside and going to the park and have some fresh air, or maybe just distracting yourself, doing something different for some reason, you have solutions coming in because you are relaxing your nervous system. You are going out in the nature, you have a walk, and then you have, oh, actually, I can see things differently. Oh, actually, that was not too bad. Actually, I can see the situation on a different perspective. It doesn't, it's not that serious. It's not that, come on. You see things from a wider perspective. You are not clocked up into that disturbance of the mind, okay? Your mind needs your body. Your mind needs your body to feel safe. You need your, to bring your mind somewhere else. She can't figure it out everything by herself. She needs your body, okay? He needs your body. So I didn't know, I didn't have the power in me to make myself feel better. Yes, you have, my dear. It all helped and I was surprised at how effective the tapping. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Well done that you felt that the tapping was working. That is very good. Thank you so much, Pa, for joining in. One of my takeaways from this session is that standing up, Kitty, Standing up and moving your body and breathing deep into the belly is helpful for me to release stress and let things go. Absolutely, Kitty. Invite yourself to strengthen this muscle because you know what? You are wired to get worried. That's the thing. You're not wired to breathe and, and bring your mind into your belly. You're not wired to that. You're wired to carry on doing push, 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 job, 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 struggle, 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 doing, doing, doing. Breathing in, 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 in. You never... You never allowed yourself to exhale, relax, let it go, soften. No, it's the opposite. Everything, no one taught us that we have to actually release, relax, surrender, exhale. Now we always have to inhale. Come on, we need to exhale, okay? We need to bring that balance. But no one teaches us that. What we learn from, 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 the, from everything from, from when we are born to when we are going to school, we have just to struggle, push through, carry on, put tension, you know, never stop, do more. It's never enough. Okay, whereas we want to take our power back, we want to take things, we want to understand that we need the inhalation and we need the exhalation. We can't always go with the inhalation. Okay, we need to exhale. So, Patricia, I was surprised to, re to realize that just by smiling, my mind calmed down and I had less than thoughts. Absolutely. There is laughter yoga. Yeah, there's people that just gather and laugh for faith. And that faith activates the brain uh, production of all the good hormones, okay? Positive, happy, more hormones. So just by faking it, your brain doesn't believe, doesn't think that is a fake. Just produce it. How amazing is that? Just lifting, even if you know, same, I felt the change instantly. Yes, absolutely. You can find the epicenter of your anxiety in different side of your body. Oh, and the tapping help you to balance the energy of your body. Vladimir, absolutely. Tapping help you to balance the energy of your body. Yes, it helps to come down. And then when you are able to come down, you're able to, to choose how to respond to the situation that you have in front of you, instead of react. You want to become the observer, you remember? The observer. When you get that detachment and you identify yourself, not with your thoughts, that, that goes, the horses that goes one year, one year, but you identify yourself with the, what is called the one who, who rides the, who, who, I can't remember, the chariot. The charioteer, I can't remember what is the name, sorry. Mm. Maybe someone can write in English, an English person speaking. Anyway, you want to be the one behind. You want to be the driver of your Ferrari. The Ferrari is your mind, powerful tool, but you can crash against the wall if you don't know how to use it, right? You have a Lamborghini. 
or you want to use it, you know how to, you need to know how to drive. And by taking the power back to you, you are the one observing yourself. You are the one observing, you are that center stillness within you. You are a spiritual being in a human body, my dears. My mind feels clearer and I feel like some space has been created in my head to focus on things that I want to focus on. Absolutely. Thank you, Pav. Okay, I don't want to take you more, but if you want to ask me something and if you want to uh, stay here, feel free to stay here. For those who want to go, I wish you all the best and I thank you so much for joining here, joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I hope it helps, has helped. Thank you. Um, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. And if you want to raise your hands uh, to speak, feel free to do that. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention earlier is that it's okay to yawn. Yes, yawning. Absolutely, Kitty. Thank you so much for yawning. If you feel like you need to during tapping, yes. As Jinsa mentioned to me previously, that is, this is a good sign. Yeah, when you feel yawn, when you yawn during tapping, of course, when you do session with me, one hour and a half session tapping uh, a lot. Not only tapping, of course, we do something else, but yawning, as you, Kitty said, is really powerful. I mean, it's not really powerful. It's something that happens while, while you do the session because you are releasing. It's a sign, as you say, it's a yawn. It's a sign that you are releasing something energetically that didn't serve you anymore. So it's a release. It's a sign of release. So it's very good if you yawn. It's not that you are bored. It's just you're releasing something energetically. Thank you, Rene. I was wondering if the recording of the session is available. Yes, of course. Uh, could uh, could uh, couldn't attend? Yes, yes, it, it is. I will I will send it to you. Absolutely. I think we can maybe. Yeah. Shall I stop the recording, Yvonne? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kitty. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to help, you know. <laughs>